In Frappe, we have done quite a few successful ERP Next implementations, and I'm presenting you the summary. We have to identify the project champion for an ERP Next implementation. That's point number one. Project champions drive the ERP Next cadence from the customer's side. They are responsible for bringing the team together. They should know the business flows broadly that exists in the organization. And they should also be keen on learning ERP Next. After all, once the project goes live, they take over from Frappe Consulting to drive the project home at their customer location. So that's point number one. Point number two would be to sort of avoid excessive customizations. So ERP Next is like a lubricant, right? It kind of makes the entire machinery work smoothly. However, if we bring, bring in too many bumps in, in the form of customizations, then that slows down the entire journey, right? So uh, our second recommendation to the customers is to avoid excessive customizations. And that brings me to point number three, which is sticking to an MVP. And you may wonder what's an MVP. MVP is a commonly used term, which is minimum viable product, a product that can work for you and meet, let's say 70 to 80% of your business flows, your uh, data needs, you know, your um, workflow needs, that's an MVP for you. So ERP Next has ready-made business flows. You can, rather than sort of changing ERP Next business flows, you can try to stick to the flows that ERP Next offers and then change your business operations slightly to fit into those. That will see many benefits to your organization. You know, you will see faster turnaround times. You'll see a quick closure of your orders. You may see a quick time to value as we say, right? So you are investing in ERP Next or for that matter, any ERP and you would want to see the time to value for your investments. And that would come through if you stick to a minimum viable product. So that was my point three to you. And last but not the least, <clears throat> training and welcoming smooth change management. ERP can be a huge change within the organizations. And employees have no incentive to adopt to ERP, right? But they still do. Uh, it, it's a collective effort. And we, as stakeholders, have to make it easier for them. So we have to first recognize that there is a change management that's going to happen. And we have to address it by training them. You know, And no amount of training is enough. We can train once, we can train twice, we can train three times. But we have to make sure that training is the key to addressing the change management and to addressing employees' uh, anxiety, if you will. So that's the fourth point. 